You know, we live in this dunya and we are fascinated with this dunya which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed has created in a beautiful manner. We're fascinated. There are over billions of people which live on this dunya at this moment in time. Over six billion people that live on the dunya at this moment in time. This dunya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so big, my young friends, that there is space in this dunya for billions and billions and billions of more people. But what is this dunya in comparison to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created out there? This dunya is insignificant. This dunya is meaningless to Allah. It means nothing. It is worthless. So worthless, compare it with the sun. The sun is one star. You know more science than me. You'll be able to tell me better. Take this planet Earth and you place it inside the sun and you will be able to place 1.3 million Earths in the sun. 1.3 million Earths in the sun. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. The sun is one star. One star. There are stars out there which are millions of times bigger than the sun. You need, you tell me this, that you need millions and millions of stars to make one galaxy. And then you tell me this, that there are zillions of galaxies out there. Let me tell you on top of this, my young friend. After this, whatever you see above, whatever you see above, when you raise your head and you look above, whatever you see above, the zillions and zillions and zillions of galaxies, let me tell you, this is everything there is within the first heaven. Everything there is within the first heaven and Allah is the creator of seven heavens. Seven heavens and the distance between the first heaven and the second heaven is 500 years. You know the distance that can be covered in 500 years at what speed only Allah knows. Only Allah knows but it will take 500 years to get from the first heaven to the second heaven. 500 years from the second to the third, third to the fourth, fourth to the fifth, fifth to the sixth, sixth to the seventh. Every time it will take 500 years. After the seven heavens, you all read the Ayatul Kursi. You all know the Ayatul Kursi. After this, you have the Kursi of Allah. You have the chair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know these seven heavens that we've just talked about. In comparison to the Kursi of Allah, they're non-existent. They're meaningless. Rasulullah has given an example in a hadith. Just to give us a little bit of understanding with regards to the seven heavens in comparison to the Kursi of Allah. Take a ring from your finger, take it off, the small ring that you have, and place it, let's say, in a desert, the Sahara Desert. It's the biggest desert in the world. You know that ring that we take off from our fingers and place it in the Sahara Desert? What, what comparison is in between the ring and the Sahara Desert? Nothing. Nothing. The seven heavens is the ring and the Kursi of Allah is the Sahara Desert. After the Kursi of Allah, my young friends, you have the Arsh of Allah. You have the Arsh of Allah. Again, Rasulullah has given, has explained, so just so that we can understand. Take the ring, place it in the desert. This time, the ring is the Kursi and the Arsh is the desert. What is the Kursi in comparison to the Arsh of Allah? Nothing. Then you have angels which carry the Arsh of Allah. Their heads are in the seventh heaven and their feet are in the lowest earth. My friends, then you have the Lord of the Arsh and Kursi.
لا تدركه الابصار وهو يدرك الابصار وهو اللطيف الخبير هي از بيوند ذا سايز اوف الله هو الله از وات الله از ذا جريتنس اوف الله از بيوند ذا كومبريهنشن اوف ماي ليتل مايند